welcome to Sarah Yoga. I am Sarah and today we are back with a gentle morning flow class. So this is a great class for any level and a nice start to your day or maybe just a great way to wake up in the middle of the day. Get your body moving, feel good in your body. So you don't need any special props today, just yourself. No fancy clothes required on this channel whatsoever. We're here to make you feel better in your body and in the mind. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right guys, so let's get started. We'll head straight into a child's pose. Knees wide, big toes together. Sink yourself down, let your forehead come down. Nice, easy way to start to wake up. Just feeling this release in the chest and in the face with the elbows and the far forearms get nice and heavy. Maybe just take a moment and relax the face. Setting yourself up here for your day. Kind of aligning up physically, mentally with whatever is in store for you today and moving towards that day with the best of attitudes that you possibly can given your current circumstances. And so start to take a few rounds of breath here. Maybe through the mouth. Let it go. Feel the breath pouring into the low back, the back of the kidneys, the back of the shoulder blades. Really just allowing yourself to take the time before we start moving to feel grounded and to release anything from the early morning or the evening, whatever you need to kind of let go of to clear your mind for the rest of the day. And come into your body, come back to the breath. Nice, we're gonna take one more inhale here. Again, just let your palms get heavy. And exhale, we'll let it go. We're gonna stay low in our child's pose and just start to walk up and over to the left. Taking a little side stretch, coming right back down. Draping the head up and over, feeling that stretch into the right side. So if you wanna take this deeper, you can take your right hand and reach it out to the right. Coming up onto the finger pads, feeling that right shoulder pull back in place, feeling the stretch all the way down into the right side of the hip. And again, come back to your breath. Just a few more rounds of breath here. We'll take one more exhale, release that right hand if you're up on the finger pads, and then inhale, climb back to center, and we'll make our way up and over to the right. Same thing, draping up and over the right knee, let your head cascade up and over, and then maybe adding that left arm, extending out, walking up onto the finger pads, feeling the left shoulder pull back into its socket as you feel your stretch all the way down into your left hip. And then breathe here, feeling those intercostal muscles in between the ribs on the left side being stretched open all along into the back of the left rib cage, the front of the left rib cage. Letting go of the face, the jaw, maybe even the back of the throat and the weight of your tongue. Take one more deep breath in here. Kind of pull asymmetrically those finger pads back. Feel that length of the shoulder into its socket. And then exhale, release. We're gonna release that hand. Climb back up to center. Let's start to roll ourselves up onto our hands and our knees. Bring your knees underneath your hips. Tuck your toes. Spread your palms nice and wide. And just for a moment, roll out those ankles. 
keep breathing. Maybe start to roll out the head. Go the other way with the ankles, big circles. And then we'll start to find cat cow. So on your inhale, sweep open through the heart. Exhale, big round in the spine, chin to chest, tailbone drops down, push down, almost like you're trying to split your mat apart. And then on the inhale, like you're trying to bunch the mat up together isometrically, heels of the hands and the knees pull in, throat, heart center open, full exhale, rounding all the way, chin to chest. And again, deep breath in. And really start to follow that line of your breath. Exhale, the movement matching up to the length of the exhale. And again, deep breath in. And exhale, feel those shoulder blades part, widening across the upper back. And let's take a few giant rolls with the hips, circle it out. starting to feel into the sides of the hip flexors. And you might start to expand this a little bit, rocking more forward, rocking more back into that child's pose-ish variation. Bringing the heels closer to the bum. And then again, just switch directions, go the other way. So we're just inviting some small movement into the body to kind of wake it up. And it can get stiff when we haven't moved in a while or if we're coming from sleep. Breaking down some of this stickiness in the body, opening up that fascia or connective tissue. Nice, and then let's go ahead and start to climb up into a downward dog. So those knees are gonna lift up, but I invite you to still continue to find some movement here. So Paddling out through the legs. Really, this should just be something that you're trying to find that feels nice or good in the body. Nothing too strenuous to start our day off. Just enough to kind of wake up, feel energized, feel strong. <laughs> So you are capable of kind of dealing with whatever life throws at you today. So if you like, you can take one leg and swing it up and back and maybe peel open the hip. But just notice that opposite shoulder, it's gonna to wanna to dip down, keep pick it back up, square your shoulders off. Pull that back heel down. And then if you're doing that, switch sides. Opposite leg goes up. Peel open, lift up the opposite armpit. Pull back heel down. And breathe. Nice, so we've been on our hands here for a little while. Let's start to walk ourselves up to the top of the mat. Forward fold. So we're gonna start with our feet about hip width distance apart. And give a little bend into the knees, give the hips some space. And just again, kind of kind of find the balls of the feet, roll out through the ankles. And you shake out the head, feel gravity pulling the head down, getting a little bit of traction into your cervical spine or the vertebrae in your neck. Maybe rock forward, backwards feeling. The whole surface of the foot here. Maybe roll to the outside, roll to the inside. Nice. And then if you have the capability, just grab hold of the opposite elbows for a moment, let yourself hang. Really feel that nice self-traction in the upper spine. A little bend in the knees always. You can shift your weight more towards the balls of the feet. Mm. Take a nice big breath in. And then exhale. Release. Hands are going to come back down. I'm going to take the left foot and a giant step back. 
back and then lower the left knee down. So just a few rocks and rolls here into this low lunge, kind of leaning forwards and then leaning back, coming up and over that leg. Let's do that a couple times, leaning forward and kind of dipping the hips down, getting a nice stretch into the front left hip flexor. Exhale, folding down. So noticing, right, how your body feels today, this morning, without any like, oh, I wish I didn't feel this way, or why do I have to be so tight? It's a good thing when you can feel your body. It means that you've used it. <laughs> right. In general, it's a good thing. So don't be so hard on yourself. So eventually we're going to rock all the way forward here and come into sort of a deep lunge, shift the weight onto the left hand, and take a twist, right arm goes up. You can walk your right foot out a little bit and lean more into the top of that left knee. You might even sweep the right arm back, bend your left knee and reach for the foot. So lately I've been liking the inner arch of the foot. It gets a little bit into the inner left thigh more. But again, these are just all options. Make sure you're not locking that left elbow. Push into the heel of the hand and then roll open. You may pull that foot in more. Nice. And then we'll exhale, release. Let's come up and over into a fold here and just pause for an extra moment. Inhale, point your toes. Feel that stretch across the top of the foot. Exhale, flex the toes back. Feeling these nerves, almost like floss, going up and down, right? The length of the leg here. Sciatic nerve is a big one. Kind of runs from the low back down through the piriformis muscle, usually in the near the glutes. And then can wrap all the way down. You can feel it all the way down the length of the leg. So if you want to pause here with the toes back, if you have access, you might find the bottom of the foot and just gently pull that back, getting into the calf. And then we'll release, step that right knee back. Maybe give yourself a little wiggle. Crack, crack, pop, pop. So before we switch sides here, we'll start to move through a little back bend. So knees together, ankles together, take a breath in, expand. Slow as you can, hug your elbows in and reach your heart forward, tailbone back. So you are like a plank, one piece, coming all the way down. Bring your forehead down, hug your elbows in, push through the tops of the feet so your knees lift off the ground so your legs are active. Feel those inner thighs kind of roll upwards. And then when you're ready, isometrically pull the heels of your hands back as you pull your heart forward. Baby Cobra, look down, back of the neck, long pause here. Strong legs, three more rounds of breath to strengthen that upper spine. You got it, shoulder blades hug together, elbows back and in. Strong legs. One more inhale, extend forwards and then exhale. Release, and just kind of let yourself melt. Let's climb back up. Step the left foot forward. And we'll take our rocks and rolls here. Forwards and then fold. Inhale, dropping the hips down. And exhale, fold. And taking your time here, moving between the two to feel out the top of this right hip flexor and your left hip. And keep your breath moving. Notice where your mind goes off to. Right? Notice what your distractions are for today. Right? Are they worthy distractions? Do they need your attention right now? Maybe your body is just 
as worthy of your attention, all these physical sensations of these stretches and movements that we're moving through, maybe. <laughs> all right, so the next time you get forward, now pause there, right hand comes down. Maybe you walk your left foot over a notch and start to peel open into that twist. Left arm goes up. So just take almost like the front of your throat and lift it up and in so the back of the neck stays nice and long here. And then if you want to add any of those variations, maybe bending into the back knee. Again, I'm go going for the inner foot instead of the outer foot today, but you can always reach for that outer foot if it's better for you. Rocking more towards the top of the knee, pushing into the heel of the right hand, and then rolling open. So left hip crease pulls back. And we breathe, feeling this into the hip, top of the thigh. One more inhale, and then exhale. Release, let's pause in that fold and floss here, toes point, and then flex, and then point, and then flex. And point one more time. Exhale, flex. Maybe that right hand finds the bottom of the foot and we pull back just for a moment. And exhale, release. Take a few circles. Roll it out. Maybe shake out the head, roll out through the shoulders. We're gonna meet again in that modified plank. If you wanna kick it up a notch, you're welcome to pick the knees up and find a full plank. Take just a few rocks forward and back, whether you're in your low plank or high plank. Keep your breath pouring into the back of the ribs. Keep that back flat, heart forward, pause. Let's take an inhale, rock forwards. Knees up or down, we're gonna lower. Again, one piece all the way down. Baby Cobra again, so push through the tops of the toes, elbows hug back and in. Inhale, extend forward. And then look down, back of the neck long. Hug the elbows in, strengthen through the legs. Shoulder blades together on the back. So your glutes, your butt's kind of active. Heart reaching forward. Let's take a nice big breath in. And then exhale. Release. So your choice here, you can make it up and back and go right into that child's pose that we started in. Knees wide, big toes together. Or if you are feeling more like a downward dog, you can climb back up and find downward dog, either in stillness or pedaling it out. Just a few rounds of breath here. Take your time, soften, breathe. So if you're in downward dog, push into the hands, feel the ground, stretch. If you're in child's pose, maybe let go of the forehead. That breath, pour into the low back. Let's take one more inhale. Ah, through the mouth, let it go. And then we're all gonna meet in all fours whether you're lowering down or rising up from child's pose. And we'll step the right foot through. So we're gonna set up for warrior two, start to pick up your back knee, spin the left toes out, line up your front heel with that back arch, and then rise up, bend into the front knee, stack it right over the ankle, spin those left toes in, and then arms come out into a nice big T. So just pause here, put a little bend in your elbows, take the pressure off of the shoulders. On your inhale, push into the front foot, feel your inner heels hug in, like again, you're trying to bunch in the mat as you take the arms all the way up. And exhale. We're gonna peel open, sink back into warrior two. Let's do that again. Inhale, lengthen, hug the heels in, rise up. And exhale. Peel it open. And one more. Inhale. Ah, exhale. Release. We're going to head right into reverse warrior. So that back hand goes down the back thigh. Flip the front palm. Take it up and back. Keep the bend in your front knee. 
big stretch and then exhale coming up and over. Find the forearm to the thigh. Just give that back hip a little push back. Scoop the navel in. And take your top arm up or maybe even wrap that top arm all the way up and over. And hug the shoulder in. Spin the pinky finger down. Parsvakanasana, side angle pose. Pick up the front of your throat. Lean back through the back of the neck. One more inhale. And then exhale, we're gonna spin that left knee down. Inhale, rise up. Anjaneyasana. Exhale right into a twist, so hands together, hooking left elbow up and over that thigh. Push the palms together. Roll open through the heart, take a nice big breath in. And then exhale, release. So step it back, downward dog. Take a breath in, exhale, and then we'll just move to the other side. So you can start with your knees down or that back knee up. We're going to step the left foot forward, spin the right toes out, walk that left heel in line with the arch, and then we'll come up here. Warrior two on the left side. Feeling this shape out in the legs, hugging in towards that center line. And just soften the elbows a little bit. And then when you're ready, straighten that front leg. Take the arms all the way up. Pull the heels in. Exhale, warrior two. Peel it back open. And again, deep breath in. Exhale, peel it back open. And third time's the charm, one more, inhale, heels hug in, feel that strength, that length, exhale, peel it back open, right into reverse warrior, drop the back hand, inhale, up and back, and then exhale, up and over, forearm down to the thigh for a modified Parasvakanasana side angle, right arm goes up towards the sky. So feel that right hip kind of push back, maybe flip the inner arm towards the ear, wrapping forward and down, pinky finger faces down, pull your right shoulder in. So those heels still hugging in towards center. Maybe soften the throat, the jaw. One more inhale. And then exhale, release. Let's step it back. Downward facing dog. Oh wait, I missed something here. <laughs> Left foot goes back forward, sorry. I forgot this side. That right knee is gonna come down. We're gonna lift up into Anjaneyasana. Take a breath in, feel that nice big stretch. And then exhale up and over, hands together for that twist. Scoop the belly in, push the palms together. Feel that left hip crease pull back. One more inhale. And then exhale, release. Now we're gonna go back to one last downward dog here. Pedal it out, maybe stay still, whatever you need. And then we're gonna come back down onto our hands and our knees. Spin around here. Take a little reverse bridge pose. So your feet are gonna walk forwards about hip width distance. Fingertips face in and back. And then we'll start to pull the shoulders back, push into the heels of the hands and then lift up, reverse bridge. Maybe let your head fall back. And breathe here. One more inhale. And exhale, release. We're gonna end here with a nice forward fold. So sending that right leg out, bottom of the left foot towards the inner thigh. For Janu Shirsasana, so we're gonna flex those right toes back, twist the torso towards the right leg. Take a nice big breath and get tall. And then exhale, folding. If you want to take it a little deeper, you can use your left hand to find the outer right leg, or maybe even the outer right foot. Let your head drop down. And 
And just notice where you feel this. Maybe that left side body. Reminding yourself this yoga practice is all about being kind <laughs> to yourself, to your body. Let's rise up and we'll switch sides. Left leg goes out, right leg whoop, in, twisting up and over to the left. Lift up with the heart, flex those left toes. And then exhale, we're gonna fold. So again, if you wanna take it deeper, the hand can walk to the outer leg or maybe even that outer foot. Let your head drop. Being as gentle as you can here, allowing yourself to take that time to come back to your breath. Come all the way up. Bring the bottoms of the feet together. <sighs> Grabbing hold of the ankles or the shins. Take a breath in. Enjoy that space of the breath. Exhale, fold. So it can be really um, grounding, just a really nice time to find our practice in the morning before we kind of get pulled in all these different directions. And then we'll slowly rise all the way up nice and slow. So I want you to keep your feet in this position in Baddha Konasana shape. We're going to take it into like a Supta Baddha Konasana or a lying down butterfly shape. So we're going to come down. Let your head rest down. Just bring your hands to your lower belly or your hip points for a moment. Feel that opening, feel that breath into the lower belly. And then start to lengthen out your left leg. Pull your right knee in. One last final twist up and over to the left. Right arm reaches out to the right. To center. Let's switch sides so the right leg will go long. Pull your left knee in. Take a deep breath in. Hug it in. And then exhale. We're going to shift that knee up and over to the right. Left arm peels open. Come back to center, let's take ourselves right into Shavasana. Lengthen out the legs, lengthen out the arms. <sighs> center yourself, let yourself melt here into the ground. Just trusting really in the support of the ground. The energy sort of surrounding you. The capability, the power you have to manifest and dream up and actually create, build whatever you have in store for the day. And just resting easy here knowing that the ground has got your back. And as you take these last few moments to observe the breath, the body, the mind,
And so if you have a few extra moments today, please stay in your Shavasana. If you're ready to move towards the next part of your day, we're gonna make our way up nice and slow, climbing up. Mm. Landing in one final seat. Just feel that spine, feel again this connected quality through the sits bones, this awareness of your own breath, your own strength, and your own body. So I am Sarah. I thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully the audio on this one was better. I'm working really hard to get better audio here with these wireless mics or labs. So if you have any tips for me, please let me know in the comments below. But again, I thank you. I hope this helped you start off your day or maybe kickstart the middle of your day. My name is Sarah. And I will see you next time on Sarah Yoga. Namaste.